Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. I really have a treat for you today. Have you ever gone to an amusement park or any kind of place where they have like a circus and they were serving smoked turkey legs? You see people walking around. I'm from Chicago. You've seen them walking around at Chicago Fest and they would have this great big turkey leg with them. Well, I'm going to show you how to prepare it. This is going to be the quick way because we're not going to be smoking any meats. It's too cold for me to be outside on the grill. So I'm just going to show you a way to do it where if you have that taste bud that wants to smoke turkey leg, you can do it. And it's real quick and easy. So let's get started. Here I have two, and if you can see them, they're very large smoke turkey legs. Now, a lot of people do smoke their own, and there's a difference in smoke uh, turkey and just regular turkey legs, and you know that you can tell the difference because you can see it. With a smoked turkey leg, one that has already been cured, you'll see that there's that darker color to it. And with the regular turkey legs, it looks more like raw chicken when you buy it in the grocery store. So this is just a fast and easy way, and if you're having like a tailgate party or any kind of party, and if you're going to have drinkers, which I'm not a drinker, and they need something to nibble on, this is the perfect thing for them to have. So here I have a plastic shoe box and I buy these in the store Dollar General preferably uh, you can get them like four for like two dollars and fifty cents a little bit under three dollars and I don't only use them for shoes they have a variety of use I use them in my kitchen so here is one of those shoe boxes that I'm using and I'm going to use this to marinate my turkey leg now these turkey legs have already been seasoned and already been cured so you really don't need to do any more to it but but because it carries a high content of salt and I want to delete some of that salty taste, this is what we're going to do. I have a half of a bucket of water here. To that I'm going to add two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. I start to say Worcestershire, but either way you pronounce it Worcestershire or Worcester. It's the same thing. I have three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to stir that up. And just to dissolve the um, the sugar. And what I'm doing is I'm adding like a little sweeter taste to um, my turkey legs. And you also get just that hint way in the background from the Worcester, uh, Worcester sauce. You'll get that hint of just like having been hit by a barbecue pit, you know, being on a barbecue grill. In other words, you have that hint of a barbecue flavor way in the back and it's really mild and minute. You don't, you don't taste it that much, but it adds a very good flavor to your turkey drums. Now, now that that is dissolved, if you want to add a little bit more liquid smoke, you can do it, but you don't necessarily need to have the liquid smoke because they've already been smoked, and it's, it's a good flavor that's already on the turkey legs. So I'm going to put these turkey legs into my solution. And in order for them to fit, if you notice, I didn't put the big drum part on the same sides. I just alternated and put them back to front, back to front. Now, you want these turkey legs to be covered in the solution that I made. So I'm going to add, take this, just enough water to cover that container. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it in my refrigerator for maybe about four hours to 24 hours. So anywhere from four hours to 24 hours, I'm going to allow this to just marinate a little bit extra before I roast them off in my oven. Okay, just need just a little bit more water. Now, if you can look at these turkey legs, both of them are totally immersed under this water solution that I have, which is the brown sugar, the Worcestershire sauce, and just the water. If you want to add a little bit of liquid smoke, you can, but you really don't need it. That's all you need to do. I'm going to put this in the top, put the top on it, put it in my oven for... 4 to 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and we're going to roast these off. So I'll get back to you once this process is okay, complete. Okay, now we're back 
two days later and I was gonna do it like anywhere from between four hours and I said a day but two days really don't bother these at all it just allows it to marinate just a little bit longer but I have it laying on a paper towel I've taken all of the marinating liquids out and now I have it on paper towel and I'm going to dry it with a paper towel as well and it's been in there for a minute so it should be relatively dry. I'm not going to put any more seasonings on it. I'm going to put it down on my baking sheet. Now, as you can see, I have a baking sheet that I have lined with aluminum foil. Now, after lining it with aluminum foil, then I took my rack. Let me remove this. This is just a rack that I put my turkey on top so that the juices from the or the oils from the turkey uh, will not get on it and have it all greasy. So I'm going to use that rack in order to roast these off in my oven. I'm going to roast them open just like they are on a 300 degree oven until done. It should take roughly about two and a half to three hours. So I'll get back to you once that is complete. Okay, we're back and I'm going to take it out of the oven now because it's cooked long enough. Alright. Get a look at those. I mean, they are totally roasted. And you put foil on the bottom. I'm going to turn it over so you can see that. And so you can see this one. Okay, now I'm going to wait about five minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you when I cut one of them open. I want it to rest here for about five, five to ten minutes before okay, I cut Okay, we're back right and back. I'm going to cut this open so you can see how it looks. I first want to show you if you are having guests and you want them to hold this while they're eating it or, you know, if you like you're having a party and you want people to hold it. Just fold your piece of aluminum foil in half, take it and wrap it around the bottom of the leg. And the reason you do that is because you don't want their hands to be greasy, messy, or sticky. So you put that there. Now I'm going to take this, and it needs to really rest for 5, 10 minutes to until it cools. And I can't stress that enough. But I'm trying to get into bed because it's late. So I'm going to take one of these. And I'm going to cut it, but I first want to show you, look at all of the grease that was in that turkey leg. You can see it running, okay? So I want to show you that, and that's why I put that rack there. Now, I'm going to cut this open. So you can see that meat. Oh my goodness. Look at that turkey leg. And you know you got those little fine bones, but I guarantee you people will pick through that. There, took off three pieces and a little bone. This is all you need. This is a meal all by itself. Just wanted to show you how to cook those amusement park turkey drums and they're good for snacking they're good for if the, if you want to make a meal out of it you can if you have a party they're the perfect things i do want to tell you that it costs more for the smoked turkey legs than it do for just the regular turkey legs because the regular turkey legs in the store will run you maybe three for two dollars these will run you like two for maybe five dollars so let me just take a little bite Man, that's some kind of good. <laughs> and as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.